welcome back again so now we are moving on to our next family that is anacardiaceae so by looking into this picture you can see uh, which among our common economically important plants belongs to this family so this is our mango so this is the mango family cashew family so we can let into the uh, detail of anacardiaceae so it is distributed uh, worldwide and there are uh, about 600 species and 80 genera that is tropical in distribution and 23 genera present in india okay of which one major among them are anacardium spondias mangifera and holigarna so you know you are familiar with all of these plants i will uh, give you the malayalam names so what about uh, this uh, plant namely i can show you see anacardium anacardium is our common cashew and spondias is ambalanga and mangifera is uh, mango and uh, this holigarna is cherumara okay so mangifera is the mango and holigarna is the cherumara okay so habit while discussing the habit uh, most of the plants belongs to this family is tree or maybe shrub herbs are very rare or maybe absent leaves are usually alternate and exstipulate stipules are commonly absent in among the members of anacardiaceae clear inflorescence is usually occurring in panicles and they may be of axillary or terminal panicles and flowers are bracteate bisexual flowers rarely unisexual flowers also present in this family and they are pentamerous multiples of 5 okay and actinomorphic you can cut the flower into any plane to equal halves and hypogynous that is ovary is superior and perigynous flowers present in holigarna arnotiana and rarely epigynous flowers usually flowers are very small and also they are occurring numerous in clusters in panicles clear then calyx having five sepals and they are free usually adnate or connate at the gynecia with the base okay and estivation is quinquential estivation you know what is quinquential estivation two petals in two petals out and one completely in and out okay now these are about the uh, pictures of uh, the images of the plants belongs to anacardiaceae you know this is the mangifera indica very common mango tree and this is anacardium occidental our cashew plant okay and this is pontias the ambalanga and this is holigarna arnotiana that is cherumara okay now look into this flower is a deep very close view you can see the flower of anacardia occidental and this is the flower of mangifera indica so usually we may not be focused the flowers hmm? you just eat the mango and the cashew that's all okay so now you are the uh, botany students you have to look into deep the flowers of uh, these plants that is very beautiful to see now corolla corolla bears five petals and usually up to seven petals may be seen or petals may be absent in some members or usually free petals but rarely fused condition also occur valvet typically is what free petals that is five to seven or five petals and a disc is present that is extra staminal or intra staminal nectariferous disc this is a very important identifying feature of this uh, family that is extra or intra uh, i mean uh, disc is present okay extra or intra staminal disc is present that is nectariferous disc it is secretes what nectar okay so a nectariferous disc is present extra or intra staminal nectariferous disc is present disc is absent in one member pistachia okay now about andrisium andrisium is having 10 stamens and it's double the number of petals usually stamens double the number of petals and it is very important to uh, note that usually stamens are 10 present but many of them are sterile and that is modified into staminodes hmm? in some members there are only one stamen and other nine staminodes okay usually if present these stamens are present, arranged in two words two rings or two words okay and uh, in mango it is mangifera one stamen fertile and four staminodes are present clear staminodes are the sterile stamens filaments are free or basally connate and these are basically fixed 
So you have to remember two important features here in this slide. One is extra staminal or intra staminal nectariferous disc, a common feature, and also presence of stamens, but most of the stamens are staminodes. Clear? Now, dynesium, monocarpillary, usually unilocular condition. It's very important unilocular, single locule, superior ovary, and uh, one, uh, solitary ovules present. Okay. Sometimes three carpels. Styles are 1 to 5. Okay. Uh, usually uh, 1 to 5 carpels are there but they are fused to form unilocular condition. It is important and with the capitated stigma. Anacardium and mangifera one carpel that is very important only one carpel present in anacardium and mangifera. Fruit is a droop or a nut. This it is a nut we studied that in our uh, classification of fruits nut. Okay. And another peculiar feature is seeds with a curved embryo. This is the important feature. Seeds with a curved embryo. Clear? Now, economic importance. So, uh, in the floral characters, one uh, point to remember is the nature of corona, uh, that the presence of disc, then staminodes, okay, and also the nut is the fruit. Then, unilocular condition, fusion of carpels and result in unilocular condition observed in anacardium and mangifera. Clear? Now, Economic importance, you know the economic importance of cashew, mangifera, everything. Jamaica, plum is another important that is edible. And resins and oils obtained from a plant namely taxicodendron. And holy garna is usually uh, used in timber industry, match industry etc. Spondias is also edible, usually used for make, preparing pickles. Okay. So this is a floral diagram of the plant uh, that is our anacardium occidental. You can see the floral diagram, the fruit of Anacardia occidentae. See the fertile, this is stigma and these are the staminodes and stigma that petals very clear here. This is a gynecium and uh, see the how this only one fertile stamen. So, in the floral diagram, you can see this is the only fertile stamen and what about all these nine, they are all uh, the sterile staminodes. Clear? Okay. Now, this is the mangifera indica, its floral diagram and uh, look at the illustration. See, uh, this is single uh, style and uh, stigma. And this is a single stamen, stamen and this is a unilocular ovary. And uh, see the floral diagram, one fertile stamen here, unilocular ovary. Then corolla and uh, sepals. So, very important, uh, the presence of disc. You can see the presence of disc here at the center. This is a disc. Uh, so, very important and very significant uh, character. So, that is all about the family and look into the images, pictures of the members. Holy Garna, Arnotiana, Chirumaram. By looking the leaf, leaf itself, a grey coloured uh, appearance present in the leaf. This is a spondias, the fruit look like our uh, tender mango. So, that is very important, uh, traditional pickles preparing by using spondias. And this is our mangifera indica, different varieties available. This is our anacardia occidental. So, you can prepare. This is very difficult to prepare herbarium. So, there may be some irritations in the skin, burning effect will be there. So, do not try to pluck this plant. And all others you can have prepare for herbarium. Okay. So, that is all for about anacardia. So, very simple family, very small family. So, economically important family. Usually, questions may be arise. What are the economic importance of family anacardia? Whatever the condition of the corolla, the presence of intrastaminal, extrastaminal disc, staminodes, unilocular condition of gynecium. That is the peculiar feature and the nut that is a fruit of this family that is economically very important. Uh, so, I hope you understood well. Uh, so, have a nice day. Thank you.